friends, today I'll be teaching you how to make flower vase art. Here's the things you'll need to make it. Glue, scissors, green paper, blue paper, orange paper, white paper, yellow paper, red paper, and pink paper. Let's get started. You're going to take your glue, blue paper, and orange paper. You're going to take your glue and you're going to put glue on all sides of the orange paper. Now you, you want to make sure to cut your orange paper in half. Mine is already pre-cut. And I think I'm going to make it a little down. And stick it. Stand with the other side. I'm just going to put it in the back. So just like that. So you're going to want it to be like this. Let's move on to the next step. Next step, you're going to grab your glue, white paper, green paper, and scissors. You're going to take your green paper and you're going to cut out a vase shape. Now, before you cut it out, you might want to draw a little vase shape to kind of get idea. Whoopsie, I don't want it like that. Maybe I want it like So I've kind of drew a vase like this, and now I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to just cut it out carefully with my scissors. Now, you're going to save this extra paper that you've cut out. You can throw it also, but it's best to save it because you can maybe use that scrap paper for another project. Save trees and do not waste paper. Here I've cut out my vase. Now, if you want to trim it, you can trim yours. Now, I'm going to trim mine just a little. Outward. Outward. Like this. So once I've cut it out, I'm going to take my excess of paper and I'm going to keep it because you never know, you could use this extra paper in another craft, so I'm just I'll just be saving it. And then now I'm going to grab my white paper and I'm going to cut a strip of white paper. And let's say I want to, okay, so it has to be strip these blunt. So I'll just cut it off after measuring it for my vase. This will be just a little, like, kind of design on your vase. Now, you can draw it on with marker, but I'm deciding that maybe I could Cut it out and glue it with tape. I'm going to take my extra strip of paper that I have and I'm just going to cut squares of it. So here I'm just cutting squares of it. After I cut squares, I'm just going to take it and glue it. Kind of in a triangle pattern. I wouldn't say triangle, but I guess a diamond pattern. They kind of look a lot like just two triangles connected together. Like if you would cut a square like this, it would kind of be a triangle. So I'm just going to glue it on like that. Now you don't have to do this design. You can do whatever kind of design you want, but I'm just doing this one because I thought diamonds look really nice on vases. So I'm just going to make that pattern. And for the last piece, I'm going to cut a triangle. Take some glue. Stick it on 
done. So here I've made a design like that. So now I'm going to take my paper strip and I'll be gluing that on to. I'm just gonna place some glue. I'll stick that on. Then I'll flip it. Place a dab of glue on the excess. And fold on the back. Now you can cut the excess off too. I just suggest gluing it onto the back instead. So it gives kind of a nice clean look. So here, this is what my vase looks like so far. I think it looks really nice and I don't think I want to add any more paper details. So now I'm going to move on to the next. So for my third step, I'm going to take my scissors, my glue, my pink paper, yellow paper, and red paper, and I'm going to be making the flowers. So for the flowers, I'm going to first cut circles out of my yellow paper. So you're going to cut circles, which will be the middle of your flowers. Now, I think you should make tulips, but I'm not sure how to make tulips very well. That's why I'll just be going with normal flowers that you see in spring. So you're going to cut out the circle. So here I've cut out my circle. I think I might need to turn it a little. So here I've cut out one circle. Now I'm going to make a lot of these. I am making um, about, let's, three flowers. Now you can make four or five, as many flowers fit in your vase. You don't want to make more flowers because if you make like more than you need, you'd kind of be left with extra flowers. Well, I guess the benefit of extra flowers is you can use them in some other craft project where you need flowers. But I suggest instead just making as many flowers that as you need. So I'll just be cutting out circles. So here I've cut out three circles, just like this. Now I'm going to cut out my petals. So for my petals, the colors I'm using is red and pink, so I'll put my circles and my extra yellow paper aside for now. And I will work on cutting out my petals. Now for petals, you're going to make kind of bones. Like this, a kind of teardrop tapes. One, okay, one, two, I've made eight petals and now I'm going to cut my petals out. So then I'm going to cut them out carefully. So I'm just going to be cutting. yellow paper and I'll just be putting a dab of glue on the end of the petal and I will be sticking the petal on. And you want to stick it underneath so it looks kind of clean and now I'll be just sticking on all of my petals onto my flower. So here I 
I've sticked on petals on my flower. Now, if you're wondering how many petals will you need exactly for each flower, you would need about seven petals if you have cut them big just like the way I did. So now I'll be making the rest of my flowers. So now I'll be cutting my pink petals. So I'll do the same process that I did to cut out my red petals. circles that I have and sticking my petals on. So I have made all three of my flowers. Now I'm going to take the extra green paper that I have saved from when I was making my vase and now I am going to cut it into thick strips. I'm going to move my flowers out of the way. Cut six strips. I'm going to cut three of them, and if I have extra green paper, if you have extra green paper, you can cut out leaves. So I cut out three paper strips and I have extra, so I'll just be cutting out a leaf. So I'm going to just round the edges. So we have cut out one leaf and I think maybe I can cut out two more leaves. So I'll just cut out one leaf for each step. So I've cut out three leaves and I'll just stick them onto my stems. So just like that. And again, I'm gonna stick them behind to make it look cleaner. Stick down the leaves. I'm going to throw the excess. And I'm going to grab the flowers. And I'm going to take some glue. I'm going to glue it on. So just like this. You could also put the glue on the stem and stick it instead of putting it on the flower. So I sticked on my flowers onto my stems and now I'm going to grab my vase that I made earlier and I'm going to put my flowers and my stems back. I'm going to take the kind of backdrop that we had made earlier and the vase and I'm going to glue the vase onto the backdrop. And then in the vase, I'm going to glue on my flowers. So, just going to make like lines at the top of the vase. Whoa! Then I'm just going to take my flower and stick it in the vase. 
I'm going to carefully stick it. Let's put some more glue right on the strip. Take another flower. And stick it. Now I'm just sticking it randomly and not following any pattern or anything because you really just don't have to. So I stick it on like that. Then I'm going to stick on my third flower, which is my last one. So as you can see, I'm going to stick it on carefully like that. And then I'm just going to glue making sure it can stick and then I'm going to just pick it up carefully and whoa 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 I'm going to stick it on kind of in the center just like that and if you want to glue down the flowers you can so I'm gonna glue down the flowers but you really don't have to I think I'm just going to grab the second one. Whoa, whoa, gotta be careful. I'm going to glue the second one on two. And the third one I'm going to grab and glue the... Oh, the third one is actually just not on the paper, so I don't have to worry about gluing on the third one. Hope you enjoyed this craft. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell to get to know when I make my latest videos. And please like this video.